my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Melissa and we talk about all things plants here and gardening and a bunch of other stuff. But today we are going to be talking about my garden. So like you saw in the title, we are doing a fall garden tour. So we have been picking a few things as we go throughout the summer. Um, today is September 21, which means that tomorrow, September 22, is the first day of fall. So technically I'm filming this on the last day of summer. Um, where I live, I live in northern Canada, also not as northern as some other provinces, but we are more northern up on the map, which in fact makes us uh, zone three, but where I actually am, I am on the cusp of the zone two. So I like to say zone two slash zone three. If you missed my other two videos with this little mini series that I've done, I did one video, I'll put a picture here and I'll put a link down in the description. It was me and David kind of getting, thing, getting things ready and planting the garden. And then the second one was a summer growth a garden tour update kind of video and I will also put that in the description below and then today is the third one in the series which is the final update of how my garden did for the year of 2021. We have so far had a mild end of summer beginning of fall. Um, everything is changing the colors it's very beautiful and the temperatures at night are kind of in between I'd say 5 and 10 degrees celsius. We haven't had any risks of frost which is really good but we are actually going to be harvesting everything today only because um, everything is just not growing anymore and a lot of the vines and stuff have died as you can see my beans here are turning yellow so we're just going to harvest everything and and accept the fact of what we have and yeah so this is enough of me talking and let's jump into the end of summer garden tour alrighty kids so I am going to start here which is usually where I have started in all the other videos these are our beans these were our runner beans that are on the trellis and then these are just purple beans um they did wonderfully I made a bunch of uh, pickled beans I cut up and froze some we ate some um, and as you can see here, these are the purple beans. There are still some left, so we definitely will be picking whatever is left. They are absolutely delicious. I'm gonna steal one right now. Mmm, so good. The purple beans, I think I like purple beans better um, raw. Also, fun fact, purple beans turn green when you boil them. Did you know? The more you know. And as you can see, we do have some more yellow beans just on the ground. I'll obviously be picking those as well. There are some flowers here, so you never know. Maybe we will get some more beans. I highly doubt it with the low temperatures, but you never know. As you can see, this middle spot here that has nothing in it. So originally, we had planted soybeans. Nothing grew. Um, that was our first time planting soybeans. We've never really done it before. They were seeds that were gifted to me. And then um, maybe at the beginning of summer, or just after the beginning of summer, we planted some more beans and nothing grew. And the weird thing is like, if you dig where we planted, there's literally nothing there. <laughs> So I don't know if they sprouted while we weren't here and like they got eaten up so quick, who knows. So moving on to our beets. Our beets aren't as big as the city, but they are big enough for a nice pot of uh, borscht. Some, as you can see, some of them are pretty small. I'll show you guys a overview of what everything looks like when we harvest everything. And yeah, I'm not I'm not too mad about these, but they they could they could have done a lot better. In the winter time, we compost everything that we eat, like our food scraps and everything, right into this garden. Um, so in the springtime, when David tills our garden, we just till everything in to the soil. So with that being said, we do have a lot of surprise squashes um, that just randomly popped up. There are some weird hybrids I'm going to show you, but um, yeah. Uh, let's just jump into the rest of it. So here that's flowering and on the ground kind of we never really put a cage around this guy But it was just a random tomato. We never planted the tomato It just randomly popped there and you can see there are some there what we originally had planted here was As you can see kind of here the tomato took it over, but these were supposed to be cucumelons. They are small But not one cucumelon grew <laughs> so Probably won't be doing it. Oh my god, you guys! I found a cu cucumelon! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god, look! Oh my god! Oh my god, okay, come on, get out of the way. Where is he? <gasps> no! 
That is the only cucamelon that we got. And I think I can eat them. Because I think you eat them this small. I think I'm gonna leave it. Is that the only one? Wow, I'm very excited. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Where'd he go? Oh my God, he's so cute. Look at him, so cute. Oh, so that's the only one we got. I'm actually happy that we actually got one. <laughs> Now going on to the surprise squash that we have. Um, this is one of the vines that were a surprise and there is actually like, it looks like a butternut, but it has stripes. I don't know, a mix between butternut and zucchini. I'm pretty sure we've done zucchini in this spot before, but who knows? I don't think that that's gonna produce anything because it's just growing now and the growing season is quite, quite, quite almost done. So we'll leave it, but we'll see what happens. And then here, these were just regular cucumbers. Uh, just regular cucumbers and I, as you can see there's nothing here except again this is the cutest little thing I've ever did see like stop <laughs> oh I found another one well I mean they're Heidi size <laughs> and then here is another surprise squash it looks like a butternut squash but also looks like a zucchini who knows we'll leave this one here because he'll probably be good enough to grow a little bit longer um, and then I noticed earlier, this is also a surprise one. And this one looks like a spaghetti squash mixed with a <laughs> zucchini. So I'm excited to cut this bad boy open because I want to know what it looks like inside. Right here we have four tomatoes. One, two. Oh my God, I'm going to fall. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Oh, one, two, three, four. And they did pretty well. We grew those ones from seed. Um, these ones were like little yellow ones like that of them are on the ground and then these ones were like I don't know these ones are oh yucky I'm gonna throw that one out but this was the color they got um, and they're like striped and they kind of look like a cucumber or like a pepper uh, so there's those but let's just chuck that over there and there is like a marigold just chill in there um I don't know if the marigolds did anything they were supposed to deter animals but the bears at one point were going through our stuff and there seems to be another oh no that's just the uh, a trail of that I think that's it for over here I did just notice another um I think you can eat these at this stage I think I'm gonna eat this let's try it out or maybe that's what it looks like Maybe this is supposed to be more orange. I don't know. It tastes like a very sweet tomato, like very sweet. That's a spaghetti squash. And this is the vine. <laughs> it's completely dead. That was a surprise spaghetti squash. Let's check him out. He looks pretty good. So we'll definitely have to grab him because his vine is dead. All right, so moving on to these two rows, which is mostly pumpkin squash, some watermelons. <laughs> these are the only watermelons that we got. Um, this was the first one that grew. It's tiny, it fits in the palm of my hand. <laughs> and then this one was the second one that popped. Oh, this one came off the, this one wasn't even on the uh, vine. So we'll have to bring that inside. It's just tiny. <laughs> I don't even know, will they be red inside? Who knows? <laughs> Um, here is a spaghetti squash. That one is quite small. All right, so right here during the, by this stick, I think, or right there, no, right here is the bush. Um, there were a few patty pans. So we have this patty pan left, and there is another larger one just there. And here's another weird looking squash. It looks like the color of a spaghetti squash, but it kind of has the shape of the butternut, so who knows? <laughs> I think we got a lot of hybrids this year, which is always fun. Here by this stick was another surprise tomato. Uh, these tomatoes are still green, but we'll pick them and, pick them and put them by the uh, window. And then just right here is another vine of a spaghetti squash. Tiny little guy, I don't even know, might have to use him for like a stir fry. And then over here were more squash plants. Um, here is another spaghetti squash. We did actually pick about six spaghetti squash already. They are in the basement. Um, and then we have another one here. And then this one looks, again, it looks like the shape of a butternut, some sort of squash, I'm not sure, entirely sure what it is. Uh, what else is hiding here? We have, again, this one looks like a, butternut 
Uh, this one looks like a butternut, but like a very weird butternut with stripes. Because this is what a butternut looks like. This is the this is the shape and the color of what a butternut should be. Maybe a little bit more tapered, but that's pretty much what that's supposed to be. And then I thought there was one more. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This guy like barely grew. It's like it's a butternut, but it's also striped. Like what? I think we had a lot of hybrids this year, which is quite awesome. <laughs> Drink every time we say hybrid. We're just kidding. Um, and then another. Widow spaghetti squash. They're not supposed to be that. They're not supposed to be that yellow. I believe that when they get this yellow, that means that they're overripe. Um, so there's that. <laughs> then moving over here, more spaghetti squash. There's one tucked in right there. And then nothing, nothing, nothing. Let's see, this is an example of one that didn't isn't gonna make it. It's squishy inside. Uh, just not enough. It probably got. Like we have been having lower temperatures, so it probably just, it's not gonna, it's gonna go in our compost. <laughs> Another marigold, oh look, a bee. Oh, I scared him away. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> and this is our only pumpkin that we got. It's like a ghost pumpkin. Oh, yucky slug. This is a ghost pumpkin, or just a white pumpkin. So that's fun. Another marigold. And these were our eggplants. Again, we already picked our eggplants, um, and we made some eggplant parm. Uh, I know I took a picture, so I'll throw a picture of that here. Um, but this one produced one late. Oh no, that's no good. That means something was eating it, or maybe took a bite of it. Uh, so we'll have to cut into this. I don't really like eggplant, but. There is still one more eggplant. And that is my garden tour. Um, let's check out the peppers, a uh, couple more tomatoes, and some flowers. These are castor beans. They didn't grow as tall as they have in the past. We had a weird, very dry, no rain uh, summer. Dry and no rain means the same thing. <laughs> very hot. It was very hot and dry. Um, Love the color though, that color is gorgeous. Here we had some sunflowers, they didn't grow, they grew like half the size of me. Um, we had some like weed, this looks, I'm pretty sure this is a Dusty Miller and they popped out of nowhere, so we're not sure where those came from. There's still a couple more sunflowers. Oh, there's little bugs in there. It's kind of gross. I don't know what kind of bugs those are, but they don't look like they're oh, so pretty. So we had a couple of different varieties and then a canna lily and this is a marigold. I think someone, something peed on it. I have a feeling like maybe the bear because he was around because this died very early. So that's a possibility. All right, so we're going to check out my front little planter that David had made me. Um, everything grew absolutely crazy. I'll put a picture of what it used to look like right here when we first did it. I think we did it on my birthday, which was May 15th. And the soil in here, brand new soil, just made everything explode. And um, yeah, so everything looks pretty big. <laughs> All right, so um, in the back there was like an Egyptian papyrus, I believe. And then we had some nicotina that we did from seed, which are actually like huge. Everything needs to be pulled from here because they're just not happy. This was a walking stick kale. Unfortunately, got hit by um, some bugs. Uh, so we couldn't really enjoy that like we wanted to. I put in these here. There was one here. That one died and we figured out why because something was burrowing in here and uh, ate at it. So there's that. We had some pansies. I think that's what those are called. Or petunias. I don't know. In the back, we put one... We put one, two, three canna lilies. Um, they're freaking huge. <laughs> they're probably the about the height of me, so I'd say about five feet. And then what else did we throw back there? It's so hard to like see. Um, there's that Trandus cantia down there. I didn't put that there. That just flew in here, I guess. There is a German ivy down there as well. Um, it has really big leaves pretty cool. Here we put another castor bean that halfway through we got a really big windstorm and it pretty much like just blew over. <laughs> so kind of is a pain in the butt. And then we had something that, that orange and yellowy thing. I have no idea what that was. I put this guy here. He barely grew because he got overtaken. 
we had an alocasia. This was like a an elephant ear. For one, I'm not sure what happened here. It's on like every single leaf. Maybe that's the variety, possibly. Who knows? But it, it didn't grow as big as we hoped. But it's still growing, so I might actually just pick it and then put it in a pot and then another canna lily right there. Um, tomatoes and peppers. These are like, these are like super hot peppers. We don't even touch them. I don't even, <laughs> we're probably, I don't even know what to do with them. If you have any suggestions on what to do with them, let me know. And then here we have just another pretty big like tomato. As you can see, these tomatoes were kind of like, uh, like orangey. Um, and like egg shaped a little bit but because of the heat i believe um they all cracked and they all got yucky so we kind of were feeding them to the squirrel half the time but i guess maybe these two will be oh there's three there's a few on here so so pray for us <laughs> now on to the like five pepper plants that we put in here first of all have you ever seen a pepper that big let's just back up a bit so i'd say they're probably about as tall as those canna lilies they're probably about four feet to be quite honest three or four feet most some of them and then the stalk look at this look at this that is massive the amount of these peppers these are little sweet banana peppers the amount of these that i got on here i've pickled some we've eaten lots and more and there's flowers so who knows so we have a few mostly it's mostly these sweet banana peppers um that's a green pepper I may have picked a couple just for like, like look at this thing, it's massive. Um, and I believe I have some purple peppers. So there's a purple one there. Do we have any bigger ones? Oh, wow, look at that. That is a huge purple. And that is a pretty big purple and then there's a little baby purple. So those are our peppers, which I'm quite shocked about. Maybe I can see if I can get Heidi to stand beside them. <laughs> To, uh, show the comparison because they're probably about as tall as her. All right, you guys, and that is the end of my fall 2021 end of summer, beginning of fall garden tour and how everything uh, panned out. And as much as we had problems with drought and hot and bears <laughs> um, eating pretty much everything, even our spaghetti squashes. We still, I'm still like super happy that with what we have, what we got here, um, and yeah, I'm excited for next year. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video. And also, like I mentioned, if you wanna watch this whole series from beginning to end, don't forget to go down in the description and I will have both of those videos linked down below. So now I'm just going to show you a couple photos of our harvest and I'll see you guys next time. XOXO MM, bye.